Today we are honoured to be speaking to the Welsh national team's all-time record goal scorer, Helen Ward. Good morning, Helen. Many thanks for allowing me to ask you some questions for the Esther Junior True Blues programme. Thank you very much for having me. Since lockdown, we have been using the team's WhatsApp group to practice our skills. What have you been doing since lockdown started? Um, well, as I said, I've got a couple of children, so they've been keeping me very busy. Um, and my husband and I bought a treadmill, so that's what's been keeping me nice and fit and, you know, keeping up with my training and stuff in that sense. So, yeah, mostly running and running around after children. How did you get into football, being it's a male dominant sport? So my brother uh, played football when I was growing up. I'd, I've got an older brother, and I used to follow him around, watching his games, kicking the ball around. And then when he went to secondary school, he um, found an advert for Watford Ladies, which is the team that I joined. And it went from there, really. I just got into it through that and had a lot of friends that played as well and um, just carried on from, I think that was about the age of eight. So, yeah, it was all down to my brother, really. Do you think the women's game will catch up to the men's game with more professional teams and players? I certainly think that there'll be more professional teams and players as the years go by. Whether it'll ever catch up in the sense of having the, the sort of setup that the men's game has now, I'm not sure. But it definitely will improve and it'll keep going the way it has. I mean, since I was a kid, it's come on massively. So if it happens, you know, that sort of change happens again, then for sure there's going to be plenty more professional teams and players around the UK, definitely. What is your favourite pre-match meal? Oh, that's a tough one. Um, when I play on a Sunday afternoon, I tend to only have sort of one big meal and maybe a couple of snacks. So I'd have a, a big bowl of porridge with some fruit and some nuts in it. And then maybe before I leave, uh, something like a banana or something small just on, on the way to the game. Um, if it's an evening game, then obviously I'll have a bit more and it might be something like chicken and rice and you know something a little bit more substantial. Uh, but generally speaking, it'll be a big bowl of porridge with some, some fruit and some nuts. Do you have any pre-match rituals? I'm going to be really boring here and say no, not really. Um, I've kind of got over any superstitions. I used to have to put my left sock on and my left boot, but I don't really do that anymore. Um, I do wear the same sports bra and pants, um, but they get washed in between. <laughs> what are your proudest and most disappointing sporting moments? Wow. Um, my proudest moment is every time I pull on the Wales jersey. It's unbelievable, the feeling, standing there, next to your friends, singing the national anthem um, is, is brilliant. And you know, I've been fortunate enough to do that 90 times so far. And each and every time I've done it has been fantastic. And I just, I don't think you can get a better moment than that. Um, the most disappointing, I think, was when we lost that game to England at Rodney Parade. We'd come so far, we'd come so close to qualifying for a World Cup. And all the, the support we had was amazing that day. And the feeling that we had afterwards, it was just, it was terrible and it took us a long time to get over that as a squad and as individuals. So that, that has to be the most disappointing, yeah. What is your favourite goal you have scored for Wales? That's another tough one. Again, I'm quite fortunate that I've managed to do that quite a few times. Um, there's a couple that stand out. One I scored on my 50th cap against Belarus at the Cardiff City Stadium. Won us the game. Um, it was a bit of an individual effort, which I don't often get because I'm normally just on the end of a good team move. Um, so that one would be up there. But the, the other one would be in 2015 when I scored my first goal, having had Emily, my eldest child. Um, it was kind of a bit of reassurance that I needed that I could still score goals at international level, even though I, I'd become a mother. So those two stand out for me, for sure. What advice would you give to players starting off in their football journey? 
just enjoy it do everything you can to improve yourself but make sure you're doing it with a smile on your face if I found out in my career that when I'm not happy that's when I don't perform so I try to enjoy it as much as I can take any any advice that you can on board use it as something to help you don't take it as criticism um, but the biggest thing is, is play with a smile on your face if you're not enjoying it then think about how maybe you could make a change to make it more enjoyable for yourself um, and yeah just keep smiling so and now I'm gonna ask you some quick player questions okay was it Tasha Harding's shot against England over the line? Yes. Who is your best friend in football? Of course, you, Rhiannon Roberts, Tash Harding, uh, Sally Wade, who I used to play with. I've got lots, I'm very lucky. Who is the best player you have played with? Oh, it's a toss up between Kelly, uh, Kelly Smith, Jess Fishlock, and Kim Little. Who has the best taste in music? <laughs> I'm probably the worst person to ask about that. Um, probably one of the youngsters. I don't know. Who has the worst taste in music? Probably me. <laughs> Who has the best and worst dresser? Tash Harden has the worst. She'd say it's the best, but she's got the worst. Um, best. Oh, I don't know. Again, I'm not very up on my fashion. Um, and Harry James, she's quite cool. I like how she dresses. Who is the funniest teammate? Who is the best player you have played against? Wendy Renard of France. She was unbelievable. Marmite, love it or hate it? Nothing really. I don't. I don't like it, so I'll say hate it. And finally. After the social distancing rules are relaxed, I can't wait to get on the football field with my teammates. What are you looking forward to most? Same as you. Can't wait to get back to training and playing and seeing all the girls again and just enjoying myself out in the fresh air with more than just myself. <laughs> Many thanks for your time today. It's been a pleasure. Thank you very much for having me. Loved it.